Hi guys. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, if you could, please start with your name, spell your last name, and position. Sure, Mark Beveridge. I'm a battalion chief here with National City. The last name is spelled V as in boy, E-V-E-R-I-D-G. Thank you, sir. We've been here for several hours. Can you describe what's happening? Sure. So at about 11.30 this morning, we got called out to a possible uh, uh, fire uh, with a bomb scare. Uh, apparently, there was a resident inside the Pines building uh, behind me that uh, basically told somebody that he had a bomb and some flammable liquids inside of his apartment. Uh, the police uh, showed up. We were put on a stand back. 
Um, as soon as uh, the police showed up, uh, the individual uh, fled. Uh, he was later put in custody uh, by NCPD. Right now we're in a unified command with the San Diego Bomb Arson uh, Squad, uh, Hazmat, San Diego Fire, National City Fire, and National City Police. Okay, now we understand that you found a possible bomb in the uh, parking facility? Sure, so there's three issues, there's three problems that uh, our San Diego Bomb Squads are working on. There was some unleft backpacks that they have cleared at this time, there were no devices in that. Uh, there's a car in an underground parking that belongs to the suspect that had some devices that looked like they could possibly be associated with the bomb. And then upstairs in the apartment, we had a report of some kind of a chemical smell and a haze. That's why we have the bomb squad and also have that. Okay. And that device, it was a propane tanking uh, tank of gasoline? Apparently there was a gas can and a, a propane tank sitting side by side on the hood of the car. Um, not very common, uh, does raise a lot of flags. And at that point, that's when we stopped, evacuated the building and got the proper uh, bomb squad out. Now speaking of the evacuations, we understand almost 400 people ambulatory? Appro approximately 400 ambulatory people. Uh, some, some were ambulatory, some were not. Uh, we assisted them. Uh, we have AMR here you know, as a precaution in case, uh, because those, those folks have been displaced since 1130 this morning. So. And we uh, heard a loud boom. Yes. What was that? So when the bomb squad goes through, they have devices that they can use. Uh, what you heard was a, a water cannon that they used to take the, the satchel or the backpacks out. And these 400 seniors, what, yep. just what's going on with so them? So they've been displaced. They're actually in the community center. The, the, if you look at the Pines building, there's a large community center right in the middle of the facility. And they've been taken down and they're sheltering in place there. And uh, right now the bomb arson unit is now doing what? So exactly? what they're doing is they go from smallest to largest. So right now they're, evac they're evaluating the vehicle in the underground parking. They brought the big unit out so they can take x-ray pictures of it. Going to try to mitigate any situation that they have down there, and then after that, they'll be moving upstairs uh, to go through the apartment of the individual uh, that that started this. Morning. And the backpacks, where were they? Were they inside the apartment? So building? no, the backpacks were actually located on a bench, and so uh, according to witnesses, uh, this individual and his mom both live in the building. They don't live together in the same apartment, and she was the one that identified those backpacks as his. And what do we know about this individual? He's from, he worked with Nash? Very little. You know, uh, our police department has done a background on him. Um, I am not totally privileged to all that information. Um, but apparently he does have the capabilities, according to them, to be able to build a bomb. Now, we understand that he ran away when the police confronted him. Yes. And a National City canine took him down. Has he been taken to the hospital? Yes, sir. He has been uh, transported to the hospital uh, with dog bites. Um, he was evading our police officers, and uh, so that's why they they took him down with the dog. Do we have a name on him? We do not. I don't. Now, he's suspected possibly in other arsons that involved in Chula Vista? There has been that rumor. I haven't seen that confirmed or had it confirmed by anybody else, uh, but that rumor is out there. Have you been called to his apartment before? Um, our, our firefighters have been to that facility. I couldn't tell you if they've been called to his apartment specifically. I'd have to go back and check. And something you're probably not aware of, the facility management said they were actually evicting him today, so that may have triggered him. It's possible. Anything is possible. And right now, we're just trying to mitigate the three problems that we have at hand so we can get those folks back into their apartment. When do we expect, uh, has the room been cleared yet? No, they haven't, they haven't even gone up there. Um, it's going to be a, co a coordinated effort between uh, fire, police, the bomb squad, and the hazmat. So we could be here for several more hours. Possibly, yeah. In situations like this, it's best to be very methodical on what you do and how you do it. So that way, we're not skipping any steps and we're making sure that everything is going to be safe. Thank you. The Pines Building, yes, ma'am. Forgive me if I miss this one you're talking. What floor is it on? It's on the second floor, we believe. Yeah. And it's the Paradise Valley Community? Paradise Village. Paradise Village. Sheriff, no, Sheriff, we use the San Diego Sheriff's Bomb Squad. San Diego does have a bomb unit, but we're using sheriffs today, and they're the ones that requested County House Map and also uh, San Diego House Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, Thank sir. You. You're welcome. So,